ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and it looks like former President Donald Trump and his Republican friends in Georgia have a big move up their sleeve. If they can pull it off, that might really mean that DA Fannie Willis is doing all of this for nothing. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So, Nicole Wallace of MSNBC was beside herself, as was the good reverend Al Sharpton, who never met a case he didn't think was, well, something he could profit off of. So, they were talking on MSNBC, and they were just, what's the word? They were, they were horrified. They were horrified at the idea that Republicans are looking to change the rules for pardons in Georgia because that would prevent D.A. Fannie Willis from putting Trump behind bars. And, you know, those Democrats, they do hate to change the rules late in the game. Oh, no, wait, it's that time in 2020 where they changed the rules. on. You know what? Never mind. Let's take a look at this. Then change and rig the rules. Clearly unable to argue the actual merits of Donald Trump's conduct as laid out in the indictment in Georgia. Republicans there are now seeking to stop by any means possible, District Attorney Fonnie Willis. One state senator yesterday sent a letter to Republican Georgia Governor Brian Kemp demanding he convene an emergency special session for, quote, the review and response to the actions of the DA. There have also been calls for a literal change to the state's rules as they relate to pardons, specifically the governor's ability to absolve Trump of his crime should he be convicted by a jury of his peers. As anti-democratic as all those steps would be. Good news is, at least as we sit here today, it is very unlikely that any of those measures would be successful. But again, that we're talking about them at all tells you everything you need to know about Trump's guilt and Trump's party. Joining our panel, president of the National Action Network and host of Politics Nation here on MSNBC, the Rev Al Sharpton. Um, Rev, to, to me, there's something so clear in this tell that I don't know if they intend or just it's a default setting that they know he's not innocent because many of the crimes he's now been charged with committing he committed in full view or in the case of the Raffensburger call on a call that was being recorded what do you make of the fact that as as one of the two major parties in in the country there's no consequence for changing the rules I think that it is something that is extremely troubling that the now in Georgia, you have to understand the governor doesn't have absolute pardon power, not like other states. He can't just pardon you because you apply for a pardon. You can't even apply for a pardon until you serve the minimum portion of your minimum sentence. So it, it's different. There's also a board that has to meet and recommend the pardon. It's a whole big thing, Republican governor or not. And even though it's Brian Kemp who has his issues with Donald Trump, it would probably still be good politics for him to issue the pardon if he could. But this, to change the rules, unlikely to happen, unfortunately, because they're going to need a good portion of Democrats and some anti-Trump Republicans to actually get on board with this to change the rules. And even if that happens, they got to get anti-Trump Governor Brian Kemp to sign that legislation. So that could be a big, big roadblock for this whole case. Folks, let me know what you think about it. Should the rules be changed? Should Trump be pardoned? Is this just a witch hunt at this point? Let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.